Okay, this is going to be kind of a strange video because as you know on the farm we're constantly dealing with predators that enjoy coming and taking our livestock, killing chickens, stealing eggs, killing baby chickens, ducks, things of that nature. So it's always a battle to get rid of the predators but still maintain the environment. And you have all these beautiful rules and regulations that you have to deal with. So you have to live trap the animals and during this time of the year is when all your predators have young. So if you catch the mother and you don't catch the young, you have an issue. And very seldom will you catch the young along with the mother at the same time, allowing you to move them to another location, preferably 20 to 25 miles away, or else they're going to come back. Now, first we'll take a look at a praying mantis cluster here and oh come on focus there we go that's what a praying mantis cluster looks like thousands of baby praying mantises hatch out of that every spring and this tree is loaded with them but that's not what I brought you here for I have a raccoon problem. There is a mother who has two live babies. So I have successfully trapped the mother and uh, I need to live trap the two babies at the same time. So the only way to do that is to do it with a 55 gallon drum like this without a top and you have to do kind of a modified mouse trap but you use two pieces of wood so when the little babies come across to try and eat the peanut butter you put on there and jelly for them that they actually fall into the barrel and are not able to come out I have some that have been trapped and are getting ready to be released. They are located in the drum that I caught them in. They are living in the top of the garage. And uh, there they are. There's two of them. As you can tell, I gave them some food and water. They are very young. They don't really need their mother anymore except for, you know, support basically and protection. Their mother is located in another cage. I have them separated. These guys actually are pretty mellow. They might make some noise if I freak them out, but they don't seem to be too bothered by me. Right guys? I gave them a little thing of water and uh, they have some bird food too. I put a couple pieces of cardboard in there so it's easier for them to get around because the plastic's kind of slick. But. There's their bird food. That one right there, that's a female. The one behind it is a male. Actually, if they wanted to, they could jump up and grab me right now, but they're not gonna. They have no idea what's going on. They're just being inquisitive. But, to 
tonight they're going to go for a very long ride. I'll release them first because they won't go very far. And then I'll release some other who will go and collect them and then they'll all run off together. And find themselves a new home. No longer invading mine. And uh, no longer will they become a worry of predators attacking my chickens or my food source but I'd estimate them it probably being oh five maybe six weeks old they're still pretty young they don't really have any fear of humans because they haven't been messed with by humans yet as they get older that will change I'm sure but they know I'm not a threat so they're not messing with me I'm going to give them more water and make sure they don't dehydrate because raccoons have no spit glands they depend on uh, they depend on hydration People think that they wash their food so that it's clean, that they're being cleanly, it's all cleanliness. It's really not. It's because they don't have any spit glands and they need to get it wet so they can swallow the food. That's pretty much what it's about. Okay, now that I've uh, wasted enough of your time looking at a couple of baby raccoons, um, I'd like to tell you that in the description link of this video you will find some links for pools. These pools are important. One is for Al Jefe. One is for Prince Vegeta who uh, has just bonded out of jail. And the other link is for an offshore server because as you all know if you've been keeping up with the new internet laws and everything else it won't be long before we don't have any place to go we won't be able to meet up in our normal places and uh, things are going to change rapidly so we're trying to get an offshore server where there is no jurisdiction where we'll be free to do what we want to do without being followed and harassed. And uh, hopefully we'll be there before all the new laws swamp across the internet and take out what we currently know as the internet. Because the time is coming, folks. They're going to tell you it's not they're going to tell you all kinds of things but uh, we've all heard those things before and we've all seen what happens what's supposed to happen what is said that will never happen always seems to happen so like these raccoons we just want to be free so please check the links in the description if you can donate please donate if you can't donate please grab the link share it share it wherever you can thanks for listening to my another one of my crazy videos